Hey what's up guys, Victor here and today I'm going to show you how to use your Android phone as a pretty decent webcam for streaming and tutorial videos. GG! Okay, so the first thing you need is going to be obviously your phone and it's probably going to be a good idea to get one of these things as well. So we clip the phone straight, whoop, uh, almost lost the phone. Okay, we clip the phone straight in here and a few moments later. There we go. So the quality is not perfect, but it's good enough. So I'm going to show you how to set this up. The first thing we need, we need two pieces of software to do this, maybe three, depending on your setup. The first one is OBS. Okay, this is OBS here. I'm showing it on the screen. Holy crap, look at the vortex. So many victors. Okay, so this is OBS. It allows you to set up different scenes that all end up being what you are recording or streaming. So if you don't have OBS, I recommend it. It is pretty awesome. And you can see here we've got the display capture and the phone cam active. So that's what we're going to be working with here. Now, on the phone... On the phone itself, let's just uh, see what we're looking at. So, once you've got OBS set up, all you need to do is download IP webcam on your phone and open it up. Once it's open, you're going to want to set up some video preferences because if you don't do this, you're going to end up with just choppy footage and uh, bad quality. I also highly, highly, highly recommend you either have a really good wireless router very close to your computer and your cell phone if possible connect your computer with a cable and what may be even better is to run a remote hotspot directly from your computer and there's a few ways to do that you can do that with software you can also do it with the command line but that's what i'm doing and the performance is giving me a good result with not too much lag so i do recommend that okay you want to set up your video resolution so that it's um about 420p you don't want any higher than that because you want to keep the quality is well you want to keep the bit rate the amount of bits that's going to get transferred through the network as low as possible so that there's just minimum lag because this is all going to be happening wirelessly okay so you set that up you can see that the only thing i've really set up here is the video resolution everything else is about the same and uh, once that's set up you just hit start server there might be a little ad awesome and um, then it's going to be telling you at the bottom what the IP address is to connect so if we go over to OBS here and we just uh, let's move the phone out a little bit we go over to phone OBS here now what we might have to do is just change the IP address for yeah, what we've got this, we've got it set up. I've set the width and the height as the same as what's, uh, sorry about that. I've set the width and the height as the same as what's on the phone. And what this is, is actually, it's a browser source. Because if you go to this IP address on Google Chrome, I'll show you quickly how this works. Then it's going to show you the IP webcam software and you've got a few options here for how you want to view the video. Now if you go full screen browser and then full screen it's going to open up a link. That link is the same link that you copy paste straight into the browser source for OBS. Okay once that's done then you should have a working picture. Do we have a working picture? No. Oh, we didn't save it. We didn't save it. 10.0.0.22. Browser. Okay. And there we go. All set up. So that's pretty cool, right? I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you. The links for the software will be in the description. And if you have any questions or anything, just leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer it as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching, guys. Please give it a thumbs up. 
and I'll see you later. Cheers.